Hey y'all, welcome to the Sprinkle Factory YouTube channel where we cover everything culinary. Today we're going to be making shrimp and crispy fried grits with a bacon parmesan cream sauce. I'm going to let y'all know a little bit about these grits. I use quick grits for this recipe, it's perfectly fine. Um, I just add a little extra butter and the key to making them creamy is that cream cheese, okay? Uh, get you a refrigerator safe dish, put your grits in there and then you're going to cover them and you're going to allow them to um, congeal. Going to allow them to congeal congeal and once that happens you take it out dump it on a cutting board and you're going to cut them into chunks um, to your likeness the thickness that you want here I have a tomato cut up we're going to go ahead and roast these tomatoes these are going to be part of our sauce seasoned with garlic salt and pepper and oregano and olive oil that's right 255 for three hours and this is how they come out Right here, I'm just seasoning up my flour with the just a sprinkle. This is all we're going to need in this entire recipe. I have flour, two eggs with a tablespoon of buttermilk, and also some panko breadcrumbs. So we're going to just batter the grits, and here I've cut it. We're going to put it in the flour. Then we're going to place it in the egg. And the last step is we're going to bread them in the breadcrumb. Heat you some oil up to 350 and this is my grandmother's cast iron Dutch oven. I use it for everything and we're going to fry the grits. They're already cooked so just until they're golden brown. Season up your shrimp again just a sprinkle. This is the only thing you're going to need for this entire recipe. Okay, um, next we're going to heat a medium sized pan over medium high heat. We're going to go ahead and crisp up our bacon. This is the foundation of our sauce, so it's very important. Drain your grease, remove your bacon, but keep the pan. Do not wash your pan. That's where a lot of that flavor is. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, fry up our shrimp. We're going to saute up our shrimp for our dish. I'm using super colossal shrimp just because this is what I like. The presentation is much prettier, but you can use whatever size you like, okay? Once you get a little bit of color on them babies and you flip them around, they should look similar to this. Again, back with the pan. So I have a little bit of compound butter. I make that and keep it in the refrigerator. It's garlic and herbs. It's perfect for everything. We have our roasted tomatoes chopped, just a little bit of green onions and some roasted red bell pepper. We're gonna start with the bell pepper and the green onions. Again, it's just a little bit of green onions. We just want a hint of that flavor in the background, not overpowering. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and saute those up, get them nice and flavorful. Once those get a little bit um, soft, we're going to add our roasted tomatoes to the party. And again, season it up. So you want to season your dishes in layers, okay? So every layer you want to make sure you add a little bit of seasoning so the final product is delicious. All right, we're adding some heavy cream. So now we're going to start the sauce. So we add the heavy cream right into the pan. And the cream is going to pick up all those brown bits off the bottom, which is just pure flavor. We're going to add some shaved Parmesan cheese to our sauce as well. Once you do that and you let it thicken for just a little bit, it should look like this. Ooh, girl, look at all that flavor up in that sauce. Oh, my God, this sauce is delicious. Okay, um, we're going to add a, our bacon back, but only add some. We're going to save some for the top to have that crispy, um, you know, different texture. Add your shrimp back in the pan, and I add a little bit of parsley as well. And we're just going to plate it up, guys. Plate it up how you like it. Use your creativity. And this dish is delicious. Okay? Don't forget to follow us, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share with your friends. And we will see you next time.